welcome back to 13C. Today, I've got a review for you that's been over a year in the making. A little before Independence Day 2015, Federal sent me some cans of this American Eagle uh, 556 in their fresh fire packs. These are 62 grain ammo, they're their XM855 ammo, 30 round cans, and they're billed out as being weatherproof and waterproof cans. So I figured, let's put these cans to the ultimate test here. It's been a year, I deep sixed two of these cans in the pond here, and I've got another can that I put under some trees out there that have been left out here unattended for this past year. I think I took a couple snapshots of the ones under the trees throughout the year, throughout the year with uh, some snow on it and other things. But uh, other than that, completely undisturbed. So let's get to them here today. Let's pull these out of the pond right now and uh, see what they look like. Uh, this is one of our controls. This was in the house uh, the entire time. I have a C on it here. I have a C on the bottom. I have a C on the top, so I don't get it mixed up. That uh, that's going to be our control to see how those group versus the ones that have been out here and subject to these elements. So. Got our paracord, let's hope we're still attached on the end here. And as you can tell, our weeds and water life have grown up over the year. Ooh. All right, well, we've still got something attached here. And they're both still in there. Let's see if we can uh, fish one of these cans out of here without destroying this bag, what I'd like to do is actually only take out one can, put the other can back in there and save it for next year. And as it turns out, I knotted the ever-loving hell out of this. So, it's pretty much gonna be no other way to get in there except for to cut this rope. And uh, later when I'm done with the review here this afternoon, this evening, I guess I should say, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and deep six that other can back into the water and leave it there. And we'll come back and we'll visit it Independence Day 2017 and uh, see how that's done. Assuming this one uh, holds up okay. So this guy is nice and slimy. Sounds like they're moving around in there just like the other one. So it doesn't sound like there's a lot of water penetration. And actually see if I can rinse rinse this off just a little bit here. All right. Oh, Mrs. 13C is gonna kill me. But it's for science, right? All right, so the first thing to note here, for what it's worth, this little plastic lid, water has totally infiltrated that plastic lid, so this Little lid here, don't count on that to do anything for you, but I would say after a year, uh, keep in mind here, I, we're here where I'm at, uh, we get weather uh, spikes anywhere uh, from, it's been about negative 25 over the winter, and I think the hottest temperature this can would have seen is about 95 degrees. It's actually pretty pleasant out here right now, but uh, the other day it was up to 92, and last year I know we had to hit at least 95, so we're dried off pretty well here can look pretty good here. I'm going to put uh, P for pond on here so I don't get it mixed up. Let's go ahead and take a look at the other one that's uh, under the tree over there. And here is our other can that's been sitting under the tree here for the past year. All right, so let's get our control group taken care of here. Can with the C on it. Open it up. Peel it back. Inside you've got this little donut ring to kind of keep them from bouncing around and then a honeycomb shape with all your rounds down in there. So I'm going to grab three of these guys out of here. I've got a target uh, downrange about 50 yards. And let's go ahead and put these into the target on the left as our uh, control group. All right, nice. All right, so let's go ahead and pop open this uh, pond can and see how she's looking.
completely dry and we are completely dry here as well take this one and turn it upside down for you. there we go we are completely absolutely bone dry and from the control can these rounds look identical so grab three of these and put them in on the right and of course one's gonna hit the ground one two three you know what our sun's dropping down I'm actually gonna go ahead and fire five of these also gonna turn just using an aim point T2 here. I'm gonna turn the intensity down. Our light is still dropping here. Got home from work a little while ago. Wanted to get this done here before uh, the rest of the week picks up and storms. Here we go. All right, there we go. Let's go down and take a look. All right, so here we are with the control group. We've got one, two, very close here. I pulled that one to the left. I'm assuming that's me. Here we are with the rounds that came out of the pond. Check this out. One, two, three, four. That's a one inch grouping right there. This one down to the right. That's probably gonna be close to about an inch and a half grouping here at 50 yards. That's been sitting in the pond all uh, for over a year. So right out of year. So that's very impressive for that ammo, uh, for that powder to have held up like that. Uh, what's really gonna be interesting to see is this next grouping uh, we're gonna fire, which will be uh, the stuff that sat under the tree. That has, will have seen the most severe uh, impact from temperature swings from as low as about negative 20, negative 25 degrees, all the way as high as 95 plus degrees uh, over the span of the past year here in this area. Man. All right, guys, we're losing our light here really quickly, but uh, one, two, three, four, and five rounds here. Uh, those two through the, almost the exact same hole. I couldn't do that again if I tried with that T2. This is crazy impressive here at 50 yards for ammo that's been subjected to, uh, you know, like I said, 115, 120 degree temperature swing over the past 365 roughly days. Definitely cannot ask any more out of that. I'm really blown away by that. That's that's pretty cool. Anyway, those pacifier cans, as you can tell, they definitely do their job. I've got one more can that's going to go back in the pond there uh, that came out for a year when I did this. We'll, I'll wrap it back up, throw it back in there uh, tonight and let it cook for another year. And we'll come back uh, 2017 Independence Day uh, week, roughly, and get that taken care of for you and see uh, see what difference it makes, if any. Thanks again, guys. Uh, your likes and subscriptions mean a lot to us. You can find us on Facebook. We are uh, facebook.com forward slash gun reviews. We're also on Instagram. We are at 13C Gun Reviews. So we've got a lot more reviews coming up. And if you'd like to see some more stuff like this, definitely let us know your thoughts, suggestions, whatever else there is. I'm going to cap those cans and save them for another day, uh, the ammo that's left in them, uh, just in case we want to revisit any of this later. Thanks again, guys. Take care. Be safe.